Oh, right. Now we are on step seven. And I have on the board here all the components that I need for step seven. I have the MR1 C ring. I have two of my 1150 size bearings. I have my MD3. And I have my choices of 50 tooth, 49 tooth, or 50 tooth spur gears and my 18 tooth, 19 tooth and 16 tooth pinion gears. And uh, these are all the components um, that you need, um, except you have to make a choice for which pinion and which spur gear that you require. And the drawing mentions uh, the standard gear ratio. So the standard gear ratio for the Subaru Brat is a 50 tooth with an 18 tooth pinion. Um, the high speed option is the 49 tooth spur and the 19 tooth pinion. And the high torque is the 52 tooth spur and your 16 tooth pinion. So what do we do? What, what gear ratio do we choose? Do we choose the standard gear ratio? Do we choose the high speed ratio or do we choose the high torque ratio? Well, um, that depends on where you want to run your Subaru Brat. Um, most people will be using this more um, out of the box, probably as a, um, a street a street sort of basher car. Um, it, it depends. It's a personal choice. Uh, I like the idea, the way Tamiya give you that choice so you can make your choice. And like I said, you can always take apart uh, the gearbox and change the gear ratio if you wish to move your Subaru Brat onto a different terrain. Um, so what am I going to choose? Well, um, I've decided that I'm going to go with the high speed option. So that's the 49 tooth and the 19 tooth setting. So I'm going to put these into store and they're my options that I might come back to another time and go with my high speed option. So let's put step seven together. So we're gonna need our spur gear, and this is my high speed spur gear, which is gonna be my 49 tooth. And you don't know whether you'll pick this out on the camera, but you'll just have to sort of trust me here that um, inside the gearing, there is the 49 T. And this you have to make sure it's oriented correctly on the drawing, um, so we've got these ring areas here, here we are, and your spur, oh, your MD3, which is this one. Again, orientation correctly, the main main teeth out, out looking there, and you're gonna slot this through, and you're gonna to have to line this up with the teeth. There you go, and that just slots through. And now we've gotta get the C ring, and we've actually got to manipulate the C ring over it's not going to be too difficult, so I'm just going to pop that on one end with a fingernail, and then, oh, and then manipulate that over. My, excuse my large fingers and thumbs. There we go. I believe that's in. So there you are. That's putting MD3 onto the spur gear. Um, there is of course this to go at a later date so we'll hold on to that and we've also got a couple of the 1150 size bearings. One to go in one side of there and one to go in the other side like so. So now you have your your bearing and you have your gear. There we are. So that is effectively step seven. That's now completed. Okay, so we are now on step eight. Step eight, the components we need are from bag C, three millimeter by eight millimeter pan, pan head screws. 
we need a couple of MR3s, which are like spacers. We need the remaining two ball bearings, the 1150 size. We need the uh, MD10, which is the bevel gear. Um, should have a left and a right on them. And you will see that denoted in the, uh, on the stamp on the back. There's a little stamp here that says R and L. We need MD11. We need the three small bevel gears that go inside the differential. So there's three of those. Also, what we need from parts tree C is this C16. Uh, again, when nipping these off, just give them a little rub to smooth down the edges. We also need from parts tree B, B1 and B2. So B1 is this smaller white cap type and a spacer B2. Again, when nipping these off, just give these a little rub to take off the excess plastic uh, so that it's nice and smooth. Uh, we also need the uh, plate, which is like a gearbox plate. And again on here, I don't know the camera will pick this out. I'll try and see if I can get this to focus on. Um, but in here, it, it's got a stamp R and L. So we need to make sure we have the R according to the drawing. So we now have all the components we need to perform step eight. Right then, so let's put this together. I'm um, gonna to use PG4, our differential spur gear. And just a quick note on this, um, you notice on steps seven and eight, it tells you to put grease on these items. I'm gonna put grease on them once I start getting the gearboxes fully together. If you start putting grease on it now and you're trying to assemble things, you're going to get grease everywhere, you're going to get grease stains on the manual and I don't like that. So I'm going to grease everything together uh, once I get uh, the putting the halves of the gearbox together. So anyway, step eight, here we go. So as per the drawing here, so we need to take our spurs and we need to pop those in there. So there are three spurs that go inside our differential spur gear and they're a case of just slotting those in. Um, bit by bit. Oh, try to do that on camera. With my little fat sausage fingers. There we are. And a case of they just they just literally slot in. And there's only one way they can go because the other side they can't push through. So only one way. So that's those onto there. We've also got B2. Uh, B2 we need to put a bearing in B2. So let's put the bearing in B2 and that's quite a tight fit actually. That's, um, Okay, there we are, that's now in. That's a bearing in B2. And onto the right hand side of the of the task, of the step eight task, is we need to get our C16 and we need to make sure we get the orientation of this correct as well, I would have thought. Uh, or is it let's have a look. Um, there we go. So it's kind of looking like that with the hex. Hexagonals, uh, our hexagonals are here because you've got the rounded on the other side. So we want the hexagonal, hexagonal bit sticking up because we're going to push MR3s up from the underside. So that's going to be there. And then we've got our uh, plate, which is our right hand plate with a stamp with the R on there. Let's just make sure we get that orientated correctly. Um, so again, that's kind of looking, if you look at the way the drawing is, the, the, it's slightly raised here, slightly raised here. Um, so that looks to me like it's correct. So you've got this section here uh, and these line up here. So that's all good. So we now put in B1 into this centre piece here. We now put in our B2 and MD2, which is our bearing. We've now put that into here and there's a little uh, key on here that keys in here. So you key that in, so that pops in there. We now take our MD10, and again, I'm gonna start putting grease in a moment. Um, we put that on top of there. That sits on top of there. Um, and then we're gonna need to put our, um, our differential spur gear and our um, 
on top of here so that goes on top of there and we need to make sure that our spacers are passed through so they um, the spacers go through this way like that there we are so I'm going to put a little bit of grease on here now um, and I'll come back to you once I put a bit of grease because putting grease on is easy okay so just to point out and just to show you that yes we've got some grease on here now so if you can see I've put some white grease on there and also the spur gear the differential spur gear and the uh, individual bearing uh, bear individual gears I've actually put on there some uh, grease as well so that's in there already um, again the the main outer bit I'll put grease on once I start getting nearer to that section um, it's a case of we now pop on the um, casing and we screw with the three millimeter by eight millimeter screws from bear uh, from bag C so I'm just going to orientate this correctly and uh, we're gonna, I'm just going to pop that around, so there we go, there we are, so that's going to be like that. So what I need to do is I just need to pop around because I need to screw from the other side. It's okay, we can get to that in a second. And they've fallen out, so that back there we go I'm just holding that with one finger there we are there we go I'm gonna use my Tamiya screwdriver there we are just bring that up a little bit more um, yeah so I kind of have to spread your hand out and fingers out to hold sections of the gearbox in place while you get the screws to fix and they're, they're, they're machine screws so um, this should be fine. Um, doesn't talk about any Loctite in, in these. Um, we'll see how we go. Um, if they do need Loctite, then I'll come back to them and put a little bit of Loctite on, but uh, it doesn't say to use it. So that's that in there. That's that back in there. Um, we need to pop in in the center because you may re you may remember our B1, which has just slipped out. Um, just pop that in there. So there we are. That is um, step uh, step eight now there we go and the uh, still got this other bearing which is um, ready to roll so we've got to, got that ready to come come up so I put one bearing in there um, must be talking about using that bearing uh, at the other side um, so yeah it's seems all good Ooh, all good on that step eight. And there we are, step eight, ready to go on to the next. And I found out what the extra bearing was for this one. The extra bearing is you make on this little subsection here, it's quickly missed that, see, make two. So um, you make two of these with B2 and the 1150 bearing. So that's what that was at. So that's getting you ready for the, the next step. So there you go, so I've made two. So. There we are, that's where that extra bearing is. Now step nine, the components that we need. From bag B, we need this three by 25 millimeter machine head screw, which is this here, three of those, as you can see. We need from bag C, BC1, which is three by eight millimeter screws. We need two of those. Again, they're machine head, the pan heads. We need um, from bag D, BD5. We need three of those. They're the lock nuts. Uh, they're the little nuts that have the little nylon, uh, blue nylon inside them. We need an MR8, which is a, a shaft, which is here. Uh, we need MR12. We need five of those. They are spacers. Uh, we need the other bevel gear which is the left hand side one so again that's denoted with a little l inside here you'll see stamped on the back we also need the the step eight which we done previously 
We also need from step eight that BD2 that we've done previously. And we also need the other side of the metal gearbox housing. Uh, again, this has the L stamped on it because this is the left-hand side. And again, just look inside, there's a little L stamped on there. So we now have all the components that we need to build step nine uh, now, just a little note here just an interesting tip here um uh, tamiya's drawings are great but i appreciate people say well why aren't they in color well they don't really need to be in color and tamiya are very clear as well if you noticed the screws so some of the screws some of the shafts are either grayed in color or they're clear and that indicates here look see so if you look at mr8 for example that's grayed in color on the drawing so that is the dark colour shaft. Uh, this is a MR12, which is a silver in colour, um, and it's indicated by the drawing not being um, greyed in. Uh, and again, with the screws, if you look at the BC um, bag C, which is BC1, and uh, look at BB2, they see the screws are dark in colour, so that indicates they're, they're the ones that are dark in colour. Uh, whereas you see here on step 10, for example, we see this is a B, or from bag B, we've got BB1, um, that's silver in colour, so that's going to be one of the silver screws. So they do make it nice and clear for you to follow, and a, a great Tamiya tips that they do. So there's a, just a little tip there, um, just to look out when you're installing, um, just look at these, so you'll see that they're, they're nicely coloured up, so it's good. So anyway, where we are, we've got the components for number nine, step nine, and we shall start to do step nine. Let's do step nine. So I'm just going to put uh, a little bit of grease on the uh, other end of the bevel gear. So this is nicely greased up. Um, again, because I've got, you can use the Tamiya grease, but because I've got this, I'm just going to put plenty on here, um, nice inside. This is, a, like I said, an, an anti-rusting grease as well, but uh, it's, there's plenty there. So that's that bit. Uh, you notice that goes face down onto our differential spurs and our, and our spur gears that we've got there, our bevel gears. So that's sort of face down onto there, and that's where that that's where that goes. There we are. That's now in there. And what we need to do is put in these silver MR12s. We need to slot those spacers in those areas that are indicated. So um, you'll see here the two top ones. Some spacer there, some spacer there. Then we need one over in this corner, like so. And we need another one in this bottom corner. And we now need another one in this corner here. We also take our, um, again, there's a slight variation in the drawing. You remember MR8 on our drawing? Um, remember I said to you that it was a, a coloured in? Um, well, a kind of MR8, as you can be pointing out, it's not coloured in on the actual main drawing. Hey, that's there to test us. Um, that is effectively um, going into uh, our uh, little here. That's going to go into that bit, so we'll get that in a moment. Um, so what we need is our spur gear from our previous step. Um, we need to pop that into our, from our previous step, our spur gear. So that's where that comes in. And we need to um, now need to put a little bit of grease on this because this is going to go up against our um, our bevel uh, and our differential gear. So let's pop some grease onto that ready and I sort of kind of do this as quickly as I can and there's plenty on there now there you go and remember I've already put a load on the uh, differential gear as well so there'll be plenty in there so this pops as you can see, this is going to pop face down, so this gear is going to interact with our beveled spur gear. So there we go. So it's just a matter of locating that. Make sure that lines up. I think it does. There we go. Just have to lift that up a little bit. Okay, so yeah, now I've got that lined up there so the so the gear there and the spur gear and this bevel gear that now lines up nicely and 
need to put in um, some grease on the on the spur gear but what I will do is I'll, I'll put a little bit in now uh, I know when the, the motor gets put through it's going to come through here so um, I'm just going to put some in anyway um, just to start it off always have a little bit more than we need and we can always add some more on uh, from the top end once we're there so that's fine just gently spinning those gears around so that they're you turn you can actually see the you can actually see the, uh, the the spur the differential spur gear turn around so okay that's gonna have plenty in there now so it should run nice and smoothly and keep those gears from getting chewed up most important thing is when we start to get the gears meshing to make sure everything meshes properly so there we go that's that so now yeah we've got to pop on our uh, bd2 and our other side of there which goes on this side here which is where that's going to rest then our, our other side our left hand plate we need to pop that on making sure that the key lines up so there you go so now what we need to do is we need to screw this together and we use the um, little screws they go on this side here the edge um, we'll put the little the smaller of the screws there the the three millimeter by eight millimeter we'll pop those on this side so we're just going to hold that in place while we do that just going to get those my Tamiya screwdriver. Not going to do those too tight for now. Just going to need a little bit of need a little bit of jir -jir jiggling space, as they say, to pop that in there. And there we go. There we are. And then we're going to use the longer of the screws. These are the um, these are the BB twos, which are the three millimeter by twenty five millimeter. They're going to go on the uh, these side of the gearbox here so where those spacers were and on the other side of the gearbox we're going to capture those with the locking nuts so I'm just going to put my three fingers on on across there so you have to excuse me it's almost like you're playing a guitar no doubt um, guitarists are probably like this I'm going to flip over my gearbox and those other three screws that I'm now going to pop on there uh, just to get some threads on there so that they're on like so there we are and what I'm going to do is again you could use the box wrench that came with the Tamiya kit but as I've got the Tamiya tools I'm going to use the Tamiya tools so I'm going to start to do these up so that they're in place there we go just going to torque them down gradually so that they go nice and even um, just with my one hand I'm holding the box wrench tight while the other hand I'm doing these these ones we don't need to they just need to be uh, the three millimeter by eight millimeters they just need to be lift up and here we are so here we go oh there we go do that you can see the screwdriver this Tamiya screwdriver has got a Japanese uh, standard head so they're slightly different to the UK Phillips head. They're slightly different. Um, if you look it up, you can Google search the the Japanese standard, um, and you'll see you'll see what I mean. Again, a lot of motorcycles from the, from Japan they use the same industry standard that uh, the Tamiya do as well. So the heads are slightly different. So here I'm just now nipping those up so that they're nice and nipped up, and that technically is the step nine complete so there you are you now have 
a gearbox that is actually nipped up and done. There we are. There you have it. Step nine is complete.